In this video, I want to show you how to install the Tor browser on your Linux Ubuntu machine. The instructions I'm gonna show you also apply to all Linux distributions that are based on Debian. The first thing you need to do is to update your Linux Ubuntu installation. This is always a good idea before installing any application. So I'm gonna do this very quickly. I'm gonna open the terminal. So I clicked on the applications on the left here, on the bottom left, and then just type in terminal in the search box and then click terminal. And I'm gonna update it with one command. So sudo apt update and end sudo apt upgrade minus y, hit enter, put the password for your user and then hit enter again. And the updating will start and here I updated it before so it took seconds only and now keep the terminal window open just minimize it and open your browser and go to torproject.org and hit enter and here Click on download Tor browser and choose Linux and choose save file and then click OK. And here's the file being downloaded. Let's check the progress. It should download like very fast. Of course, it depends on your internet connection speed. And here it's almost finished. So let's open the folder, click on the icon here, it will open the folder where it was downloaded. Usually it is downloaded under the downloads folder. And now we need to extract the Tor browser that was downloaded. So I'm going to extract it under my documents folder and make sure to extract it in a permanent folder. So don't delete or change the folder afterwards. To do this, just right click on it and choose open with archive manager. And here select it and then click extract and choose the location where you want to extract it so I'm gonna extract it under documents and then I'm gonna create a folder here so click on the plus sign and I'm just gonna create a folder called Tor and then click on create and now you see Tor under documents is selected and just now click on extract here so it will be extracted and then click on close so we finished here just click on close everything even close your Firefox browser and then go back to the terminal window let me clear the screen now that Tor browser is downloaded and extracted we still need to register the application so to be able to launch it and when we register the application, it will appear under the applications here. So let me do this. In the terminal window, you need to go to the folder where you extracted Tor. So key in CD space documents, hit enter. And here CD space Tor, hit enter. And we still need to go under this folder, Tor browsers. If you just write CD space and press on tab on your keyboard it will populate the command for you so hit enter and here we need to perform this command to register the application so here's the command dot slash start tor browser desktop minus minus register minus app and hit enter and now it was registered as you see tor browser has been registered so we don't need the terminal window anymore let me close it and now you can find your tor browser here if this is the first time you're launching tor you will not find it under frequent here so make sure all is selected and then scroll and you'll find it here you can even put it in your favorites if you want if you right click on it just click on add to favorites it will be added here but for now i'm gonna start it from here so just click on it to start it and on first launch you have two options connect or configure 
in almost 99.9% .9 of cases, connect will be sufficient. Now, if you're behind the proxy or something, click on configure here. So this is here if you are behind the proxy or if you are in a censored country. So here it's not my case. So I'm going to click on back and just click on connect. And here's Tor browser launching. And here it is launched. Let me try my website. And here's my website. It is working. So let's try the NS leak to see if it's really anonymizing your IP. So let's do a standard test. And here I'm sure that this is not my IP. So let's perform a standard test. And you see that my IP is in Poland, whereas I am actually in Canada. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.